In the vast, multidimensional puzzle that is the universe, our human experience is limited to just three dimensions of space and one of time. But what if there's more? What if our reality is just one layer of a much deeper, hidden structure? Today, we venture into one of the most intriguing and speculative frontiers of modern physics, the search for the fifth dimension. Welcome back to Mystery Beyond. In this episode, we'll explore the idea of hidden dimensions, realms beyond our normal perception that might hold the key to some of the greatest mysteries of the cosmos. These dimensions may explain the existence of dark matter, the fundamental forces of the universe, and even give us clues about the nature of reality itself. So buckle up, because we're about to journey beyond the familiar dimensions of space and time into the mysterious world of higher dimensions. Let's start by examining the world we know. In our everyday experience, we live in a universe that can be described by three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height. These dimensions allow us to describe objects, move around in space, and interact with the physical world. The fourth dimension, time, is a bit trickier. Time is often considered the invisible dimension, one that we can move through only in a single direction, forward. Together, these four dimensions, three of space and one of time, form what physicists call space-time. This is the fabric of our universe, the stage on which the events of our lives and the motions of the cosmos unfold. But what if there's more to the story? What if there are additional dimensions, hidden from our view, that play a critical role in the workings of the universe? This idea isn't just science fiction, it's a real possibility in modern physics. In fact, some of the leading theories in physics, including string theory and M-theory, suggest that the universe may have not just four dimensions, but ten or even eleven dimensions. But if these dimensions exist, why don't we see them? And how do they fit into the framework of the universe? To answer these questions, we need to delve into the world of theoretical physics. The idea that there could be more than four dimensions emerged from the quest to understand the fundamental forces of nature. We know of four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. These forces govern how objects interact with each other, from the behavior of particles inside atoms to the movement of planets and galaxies. For much of the 20th century, physicists struggled to reconcile these forces within a single, unified framework. Gravity, in particular, was a major challenge. While the other three forces could be described by quantum mechanics, gravity, described by Einstein's theory of general relativity, didn't seem to fit into the quantum picture. This is where the idea of extra dimensions comes in. In the 1980s and 1990s, physicists working on string theory proposed that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles, but tiny, vibrating strings of energy. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, giving rise to the various particles and forces we observe. But for string theory to work mathematically, it requires more than the familiar four dimensions, it needs ten dimensions. These extra dimensions are not like the ones we experience. Instead, they are thought to be curled up or compactified, so small that we can't detect them with current technology. Imagine an ant walking along a tightrope. To the ant, the rope appears to have only one dimension, forward and backward. But if the ant were small enough, it might notice that the rope also has a second dimension, around the circumference of the rope. In a similar way, the extra dimensions proposed by string theory might be hidden in plain sight, but curled up at such tiny scales that we can't perceive them. One of the most exciting aspects of these extra dimensions is that they could help solve some of the biggest mysteries in physics. Take, for example, the mystery of dark matter. Dark matter is a form of matter that doesn't interact with light, making it invisible to us. We can't see it, but we know it's there because of its gravitational effects on galaxies and clusters of galaxies. Dark matter makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe, yet we still don't know what it's made of. Some physicists believe that dark matter could be hiding in the extra dimensions. If particles can move through these hidden dimensions, they might appear invisible to us because they are not confined to our familiar three-dimensional space. This would explain why we can't detect dark matter directly, even though we can observe its gravitational effects. Another mystery that extra dimensions might help explain is gravity itself. Compared to the other fundamental forces, gravity is incredibly weak. The electromagnetic force, for example, is about 10 to the power of 36 times stronger than gravity. 
But why is gravity so much weaker than the other forces? One possibility is that gravity is spread out across extra dimensions, while the other forces are confined to our three-dimensional space. In other words, gravity might appear weak to us because we're only seeing a small fraction of its full strength, most of it is leaking into the extra dimensions. Now, let's take a moment to explore what it would mean if we could access these extra dimensions. Could we one day travel through them? Could they offer shortcuts through space and time? One speculative idea is that extra dimensions could provide the key to faster-than-light travel. In the world of science fiction, faster-than-light travel is often portrayed as a way to traverse vast distances in the universe in a short amount of time. But according to Einstein's theory of relativity, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. However, if extra dimensions exist, they might offer a way to bypass this limitation. One possibility is that we could use wormholes, shortcuts through space-time that connect distant points in the universe. These wormholes might be hidden in the extra dimensions, allowing us to travel through them and emerge in a different part of the universe, without violating the speed of light. This idea remains purely speculative, and we're a long way from figuring out how to access or manipulate these dimensions, if they exist at all. But the possibility of extra-dimensional travel is an exciting avenue for future exploration. Let's now shift our focus to another profound question, what role do extra dimensions play in the fundamental nature of reality? Some physicists believe that extra dimensions could help us understand the very fabric of the universe. In particular, the idea of a fifth dimension, a dimension beyond space and time, has gained traction in recent years. The fifth dimension is not a spatial dimension like the ones we are familiar with. Instead, it's thought to be a dimension of probability, where different possible realities coexist. This idea comes from the world of quantum mechanics, where particles can exist in multiple states at once until they are observed. In this view, the fifth dimension could be a place where all possible outcomes of quantum events exist simultaneously. Each moment of our lives could branch off into multiple realities, depending on the choices we make or the random events that occur. This idea is sometimes referred to as the multiverse, the notion that our universe is just one of many, each with its own set of physical laws and outcomes. If the fifth dimension exists, it could be the key to understanding how these parallel universes interact with each other, and how our reality fits into the broader structure of the multiverse. But as we contemplate the existence of extra dimensions and the fifth dimension, we are also faced with a deeper philosophical question, what is reality? If extra dimensions exist, they challenge our very understanding of the nature of existence. We tend to think of reality as the physical world we can see, touch, and measure. But if there are dimensions beyond our perception, then our experience of reality is incomplete. The true nature of the universe might be far stranger and more complex than we can imagine. This idea has profound implications for how we think about ourselves and our place in the universe. Are we just three-dimensional beings, confined to our limited perception of space and time? Or are we part of a much larger, multidimensional structure that we are only beginning to glimpse? The search for extra dimensions is not just a quest for scientific knowledge, it's also a journey into the unknown, a journey that forces us to question our assumptions about the nature of reality and our role in the cosmos. As we bring this episode to a close, let's reflect on the possibilities that higher dimensions offer. The idea that there could be hidden dimensions beyond our perception is both thrilling and humbling. It reminds us that the universe is far more complex than we ever imagined, and that our understanding of reality is constantly evolving. Whether or not extra dimensions exist, the search for them pushes the boundaries of science and philosophy. It challenges us to think beyond the familiar, to explore the unknown, and to embrace the mysteries of the universe. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the fifth dimension and beyond. Stay curious, stay humble, and remember, reality may be far deeper than what we can see with our eyes or measure with our instruments. Until next time, signing off from the edges of space and time.